How did you get here? Where did you come from? No, I mean, you're a man who dresses like a bat, and your name is... Well, you know, I mean, like, don't you think that's kind of lazy? Hello and welcome to another special episode of Superhero Club, your go-to show all about comic book inspired original series on Prime Video. I'm your host Stephanie Williams. Before we get too far in, if you want more superhero content like this, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Prime Video channel. Welcome to a journey through the various dimensions of Invincible. Today we embark on a thrilling expedition, revisiting every dimension we've encountered across seasons one and two of the animated series. So get ready to delve into the infinite possibilities of this extraordinary universe. But first, let's watch this quick explainer by the guy who can travel to and from any dimension he wants to go to, Angstrom Levy. There's an infinite number of dimensions, and I was born with the ability to access all of them. <laughs> you must have been a fun kid to babysit. Some differ from ours in the smallest way. Others couldn't be more different. Remember that world-changing battle between Omni-Man and Invincible a month ago? In most other dimensions, they teamed up and took over the planet. You're kidding. And we're the bad guys. Now, what's important is that each dimension has something unique and valuable. Shakespeare's we've never read. Technologies beyond our understanding. New ways of thinking. Philosophies of peace. The first alternate dimension introduced in the Invincible animated series comes in Season 1, Episode 2, Here Goes Nothing. In this episode, there is an invasion by the Flaxons, a race of interdimensional beings who have tried to invade Earth three times. The Flaxons use a portal to transport their troops to Earth, but it's soon revealed their home dimension has a faster temporal rate than one in the central Invincible universe. A few minutes in the main dimension are years for the Flaxons in their dimension. The Flaxons share a commonality with the Viltrumites committed to conquering worlds they deem inferior. At the end of episode 2, Omni-Man enters the Flaxon portal and then lays waste to the Flaxons after telling them the main dimensions of Earth are off limits. By the end of season 1, we learn that Earth is off limits because the Viltrum Empire has its sights set on it. Season 2 is when the alternate dimension fun truly begins. In the first episode of Season 2, we're introduced to another dimension in which Invincible teams up with his father Omni-Man. Just like there were differences in the Flaxons dimension, there are differences in this dimension too. When we meet one of the new characters in Season 2, Angstrom Levy, we also meet different versions of Robot and Adam Eve. The robot of this dimension controls the mechanical suit from his original body floating in a tube. The version of Rudy we see before he clones himself a new body using Rex Flo's DNA. The Adam Eve of this dimension has a shaved head and scars on her face, giving her an edgier look and suggesting a life far more complicated than it is in the primary dimension. Eve in this alternate dimension still has the power to manipulate matter according to her will. We also learn that out of all the Angstrom Levies we meet across the different dimensions, only one has the power to open portals and travel through them. The next dimension we visit is introduced in episode 2 of season 2 and is called the Shadowverse. Darkwing 2 uses this dimension to fight Invincible, telling him it's full of unknown horrors. Those who enter the Shadowverse are unable to leave without Darkwing 2's help. We visit another dimension at the very end of episode 2. The GDA also exists in this dimension, where their evil Invincible is held captive after they manage to kill Omni-Man with experimental quantum bombs. The Cecil and Donald of this dimension are also different. Instead of being men, they are women. Another example of dimensions having a varying difference, but still the same overall. We don't see another dimension until the end of episode 6 when Angstrom Levy returns. In that dimension, while Angstrom is being fitted for a suit, we see that the tailor assisting him has four arms. Back in episode 1, it was a blinking you miss it moment. Angstrom Levy showed the Mauler twins a room full of his alternate selves from different dimensions. And there is one Angstrom with four arms, just like the tailor. They could have all come from this dimension. And if you recall what Angstrom said while explaining dimensions to the Mauler twins, some dimensions are slightly different than the main dimension, while others can be completely different. Like the next dimension we visit with Invincible. In the season finale of season two, we visit multiple dimensions with Invincible as he is sent through portal after portal by Angstrom Levy. 
The first is full of talking dinosaurs who want to eat Invincible because Homo sapiens have been extinct for a long time in this world. The next dimension also seems to have superheroes. There is a guy who can stick to walls and shoot webbing just like a spider. He is in the middle of a battle with a presumed bad guy wearing a suit with four mechanical arms. This superhero mentions he also has experience with alternate dimensions. The next set of dimensions we visit has a much heavier tone. They're the home dimensions of the angstrom levies, whose memories the main angstrom absorb. Each dimension varies, but they all share the commonality of an Earth in turmoil because of Invincible and his father, Omni-Man. In one of them, Angstrom is a widower with a son. In another, he appears to be an everyday civilian who is trying to escape an attack by Invincible, which ends in the tragic loss of the woman he was trying to escape with. In the next dimension, Angstrom is a law enforcement officer trying to hold off Invincible with his fellow officers. In the dimension after that, Angstrom is dressed like he has survived an apocalypse with the background definitely looking like devastation has taken place. The primary Invincible, the one Angstrom sought out to punish, continues visiting alternate dimensions thanks to him, which includes a dimension where a zombie apocalypse has happened. The last dimension we visit looks like a barren wasteland. We don't learn much about it, but future versions of the Guardians of the Globe save Invincible from it. They don't share much with Mark as they fear they can mess up the time stream, which exists in every dimension. And there you have it, all of the dimensions we've visited so far in the Invincible animated series. You can now watch seasons one and two of Invincible only on Prime Video. Once again, my name is Stephanie Williams. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.